Yes, it's that time again. It is mail time here on MTG Unpacked and we have our Jackalope mascot here as window dressing. He doesn't actually bless packs, although maybe he will be called upon to do so. We shall see. So today's video, we've got a batch of mail over the past week or two. We have mail from Mr. Bevers MTG Unsealed and Chuckwagon MTG. So I'm a patron of all of these MTG channels. They send a lot of cool cards every month. So very excited to see what we have today. Let's get started. I'm a new patron from Chuckwagon MTG. Let's see what he has pulled for us. And I think I may have seen the video where he did some pulls already. So it may not be too much of a surprise, but let's see if I can remember. Oh, and, oh, this is cool. So, let's first peel this off here. A nice thank you note. Very cool. I just want to take a moment to thank you for supporting the channel. Being a patron directly supports our ability to bring amazing content to viewers just like you. Be it buying packs to crack open, upgrading our equipment, or one of the hundred other small day-to-day -day costs that are a part of taking on a project like this. Without you, this journey would be a much longer and lonesome one. So from the bottom of our heart, thank you sincerely, the Chuckwagon MTG team. Thank you, sir, for all the fantastic content you've provided over the last year or so. And I'll also give a quick plug to the MTG Unpacked Patreon. I'll leave a link to that in the description for this video. So let's get stuck into this top loader here. Hopefully I can get that open without causing any damage. There we go. Let's take a look at what the chuck wagon has for us this month. Okay, so... Oh, there's actually... I think there's more than one card in these sleeves. Let me dig into those. And is anyone else uh, a patron of Chuckwagon MTG or any of these other channels, leave a note in the comments. I'm curious how many other magic channels you're watching. What are some of your favorites other than the big ones? I'm sure there's some like Rudy and maybe The Professor, some of the other big ones that a lot of people watch. But who are some of the underappreciated creators? Leave a note in the comments. And I am having a real tough time getting these out of the packs here okay that's that's got it so yeah i think he's reached the limit of how many cards you can stuff into one of these packs all right so oh nice we get a foil forest very cool and oh another foil wow siege worm Love the foiling on that one. And we get a rare bounty agent. 2-2 two, two for 2 mana creature, human soldier with vigilance. You tap, sack bounty agent, destroy target, legendary permanent. That's an artifact creature or enchantment. So this one is from Guilds of Ravnica. Very nice. I'm guessing that was my pack for the month. And an uncommon murmuring mystic. And a signed Mist Raven. Nice. Creature bird flying when Mist Raven enters the battlefield. Return target creature to its owner's hand. 2-2 two, two for 4 mana. Thank you, Chuckwagon MTG. Alright, moving right along. Let's go with MTG Unsealed. It's been a while since I've got a lovely envelope from this fine fellow. So let's see what he has for us today. Check I didn't lose anything there. Alright. So we have a nice card set up here. Okay, that's an interesting way of doing it. Helps protect the cards. And we've got a folded over thing here. One of these long... Oh, maybe this is... Maybe it's this... I think it's a sandwich bag or something actually. Okay, well that works. Well, let's see what we've got here. And now I have a tape stuck to me. Alright, so we got a couple of cards. 
Oh, nice. It's a mythic. Rail, is it Viceroy from Guilds of Ravnica? Legendary Planeswalker Rail, five loyalty for five mana. His plus one. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Minus three, he deals damage to target creature equal to the total number of instant and sorcery cards you own in exile and in your graveyard. And his minus eight is you get an emblem with whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, this emblem deals four damage to any target and you draw two cards. So are you a fan of the Is It colors? Are you a fan of Raoul the Planeswalker? Leave a note in the comments. And a second card here is a Supreme Verdict. Nice. So this is a sorcery for four. Supreme Verdict can't be counted. Destroy all creatures. Look at that fantastic artwork there. Quite horrifying scene. So those are our pulls from MTG Unsealed this month. Let's put them over here. Actually, that's going to cause some problems to whack that over there. And finally, we have, last but not least, an envelope all the way from the icy wastes of Canada, which actually are probably not terribly different from the icy wastes of Illinois. All right, thankfully we haven't had too much snow, but winter came early this year, so I'm not too happy about that. All right, so let's dig in to Mr. Bever's goodies here. So he has some color coding and wouldn't you know, it, I always forget what the coding means. So we have red cards, we have blue cards and we have green cards. All right, green cards. That's a, that's a good one. All right, so let's get stuck into this. We start off with, oh. This looks like a, is that Champions of Kamigawa? I know he's been opening a bunch of that Kamigawa stuff. I don't know if he's opening the whole block or is it Champions, Saviors? Not familiar with that, but let me know in the comments. Glitter Fang, so that's pretty cool. How Badir, Creature Barbarian, and what on earth? That is a pretty old set as well. Not familiar with that one. Biashino Warrior. <laughs> well, there's a dude. And that's Mirage, if I'm not mistaken. Afara's Warden. Wow, we've got quite a variety of old cards here. Bay Falcon, another Mirage. And Watcher in the Web. Nice creepy spider there. All right, so those are the commons. We'll set those aside. Let's go with the green card. What is it? Oh, ho, ho. is that? Am I seeing things? No, I am not. That is a foil path to exile. Nice. So this is an instant for a single planes. Exile target creature, its controller may search his or her library for a basic land card, put that card onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle his or her library. So very happy about that, Paul. Thank you very much, sir. Pop that back in its sleeve. Then moving on to, let's go for the red. Okay, we have Heartless Summoning. So this is a rare, actually, let me take these out of the sleeves because they're, um, matte finish so it's a little hard to see okay so this one is an enchantment for two creature spells you cast cost two less to cast creatures you control get minus one minus one and look at that i think that's from innistrad creepy creepy artwork there and next up we have a banned card or at least it was banned in standard at the time. Smuggler's Copter, Artifact Vehicle 3-3 for two mana with flying. Whenever Smuggler's Copter attacks or blocks, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. And you can crew it for one, so if you're not familiar with the vehicles, tap any number of creatures you control with total power, one or more. This vehicle becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. All right, and finally in the red packs, what do we got here? It is an Aether Squall Ancient Creature Leviathan from Kaladesh 6647 mana with flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, you get three energy. 
and you pay an absolutely huge amount of energy. What is that? Eight. Return all other creatures to their owner's hands. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. So this seems like the sort of thing you'd want to have in your deck for if you're doing an energy strategy in EDH. Let me know in the comments if that's something you've tried out. And then the blue sleeve here. What's it going to be? Oh, nice. We get a Street Wraith. So this is a creature, Wraith 3-4 for 5 mana with that iconic artwork there, pretty cool. With Swamp Walk and Cycling, pay 2 life, so you've got to pay 2 life, discard this card, you get to draw a card. Very happy about that one. Alright, so those are the pulls this month from Chuckwagon, MTG, MTG, Unsealed and Mr. Bevers. Thank you gentlemen for the great cards this month and if you would like to send mail to mtg unpacked i'll leave the mailing address in the description for this video the po box just be sure to include return postage if you would like your cards returned to you or packs or whatever it may be and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more magic gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released Thanks for watching and have a great day.